The sergeant put his life on the line in an hours-long effort to try and save his fellow soldiers during a 2007 ambush in Afghanistan. Joining us now is a true American hero, Army Sergeant Kyle White. Thank you very much for your service. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Tell us about the story that earned you that. Well, it was a you know, firefight that lasted four hours, and you know, from the time the first shot rang out to the time the last... Uh, Last service members lifted out of the area. You know, it was over a 20-hour battle. So um, it was a pretty, you know, it was the worst day of my life and the worst day of, my, you know, the lives of anybody who was there that day. You were the radio guy? Yes, I was the radio telephone operator. Coming back to those moments, I'm sure they never leave you, but certainly brought to a front as you received this medal, the greatest honor. How emotional was it for you? Well, I, I did try to keep somewhat of composure, but, um, you know, I remember specifically when, you know, you, you turned on the, on the stage and then he actually, you know, puts the medal around your neck. The only thing I saw was, you know, the, the faces of the guys we lost that day. And not to mention, you know, I was, I was facing one of the, the Gold Star families that were able to attend and uh, it was... It was emotional. Sergeant White, tell us a little bit more about that, that, that four hours that you were there. Tell us, tell us what you went through, what you saw, what you felt. Well, when, when we were coming down a trail, we were approaching an area that we knew was a high danger area, and so we knew we had to get through it quickly. And then once the first shots rang out, it was kind of a single shot, and then two shots, and then it just seemed like the entire valley erupted. And I remember it wasn't too, too long after the first shots. It was, you know, I'm not going to make it through this because there's way too much there's too much fire coming in too many directions and we had no cover and nowhere to go and so you know part of what um you know this award this receiving this award for that day was um you know my good friend specialist kane Schilling was there and i was able to you know apply some of that first aid that we're you know it's been pounded sure. in our head every day and uh, i was able to stop some of his bleeding and well, part of the story that is extraordinary is the fact that amid the four hours, you were knocked out by an RPG. You were just out cold. You wake up, you wind up running toward the guys shooting at you. Yeah, it was actually right after that opening, you know, initial ambush. I, I fired my first magazine, reloaded, and it was just lights out. And I didn't, I didn't find out till days later after talking to Kane Schilling that... Yeah, it was an RPG just hit basically right behind my head. So, when you see yourself with this honor and medal, what do you think? I think I'm a, provided an opportunity, you know, get the names of those that were killed that day out for the world to know because you know they they gave the ultimate sacrifice in the defense of our country, and I feel that everybody should know their names Absolutely. and should hear their stories. There are a lot of stories out there, uh, you know, a lot of stories out there about the military right now with the VA and the trouble. The GI Bill has helped you out immensely because you came back and you studied finance and now you've got a good job. Yes, um, I think the post 9-11 GI Bill is an excellent program and it was you know, instrumental in me getting my degree. I, I couldn't tell you you know, how, how easier it is to actually go and get your degree after leaving the military you know, knowing that that tuition is covered, knowing that you have you know, that assistance that you need. That's well, wonderful. And your plans are to do what? I'm going to take it day by day at this point because uh, just the past, you know, five days alone have been overwhelming. Overwhelming. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, Every day a gift after what you've been through. Yes, I, I definitely know I've been given a second chance. And, and one thing I've learned that day is just never take anything for granted. Well, thank you for giving us the chance to have you here. It is certainly an honor, and we thank you for all that you've done and for keeping all of those brothers and sisters' names alive. Well done, Sergeant. Thank you. Short in honor. Thank you. Great to have you.